Ukraine suffered losses as Russia dropped two Iskander missiles on their elite brigade. It's day 763 of Russia's operation in Ukraine. Let's dive deeper. Starting from Chase of Yar. In yesterday's report, I addressed the rumor about the withdrawal of Ukrainians from the village and cleared that it was not the case. In addition, I reported that, due to Russian advance along the railway track, Ukrainian forces withdrew from the small section of the village. Today, trusted sources have reported that Russian forces were able to take this area under their control. According to several reports, Russian paratroopers have intensified their operation on this front, so we should expect more advances. However, big news is coming from Chase of Yar. If you remember since the Battle of Bakhmut many Russian sources claim that high-ranking foreign officials from different countries are stationed in Chase of Yar. Recently Russia targeted the command post of Ukrainian forces in Chase of Yar. Report says, Russia launched two Iskander missiles on the location of one of the command posts. After which Poland suddenly announced the passing of their brigadier general. They say he passed away off-duty because of natural causes. Russian sources due to the wording of the official statement are saying that this strike is directly related. However, in the next report we would have some more clarity. Now moving to Avdiivka. Yesterday, we saw how Russian forces captured this area after they started attacking from the northeastern axis to put pressure on Ukrainian forces entrenched at the northern part of Berdichi. Today it was reported that they took this tiny area under their control. Currently fierce fights are taking place in the northern part of the village. Russian sources expect, in the coming days the village could be under Russian control. Furthermore at Semenivka, Russian forces recently made some progress. One day ago we saw that, Ukrainian forces withdrew to the western side of the river because of the Russian pressure from both sides. Currently Russian forces are clearing the area, recently they were able to capture this small section. In addition, yesterday we discussed how due to the natural barrier, they are finding it difficult to advance on Semenivka. However, due to tactical maneuvers near Berdichi and Toninki, they were able to advance further. Today, many Russian sources are claiming that their forces have entered the village from the south, while also capturing a few of these tree lines. However, currently Ukrainian forces are counterattacking, so in coming hours the advance should be confirmed. Recently, Russian forces targeted the elite Ukrainian brigade at the rear. Report says, Russia launched two Iskander missiles on Novorodivka. Sources claim that at the time of the strike, Ukraine's 3rd Assault Brigade was stationed. They further added that one unit was destroyed because of the attack, while the Ukrainian sources claim that it was a residential building. Now moving to Novomykhailivka. Yesterday we saw Russian forces after capturing this area, started attacking the rear of the Ukrainian forces entrenched at the warehouses. In addition they also started attacking them from the east. I suggested that in the coming days we might see the withdrawal of Ukrainian forces. However it happened in just a few hours. Today it was confirmed that Russians fully captured the warehouses as they push Ukrainian forces back. Subscribe for more frontline updates. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.